More often, the elephants will come to the piano and wait, and if I see them waiting, I will play music for them. Our adventures with the piano and elephants began almost 10 years ago. My 50th birthday was coming up, and my wife asked me what I'd like to do. I want to play piano for the elephants at Elephants World. Elephants World is a home for old, injured, handicapped, former logging and street elephants on the banks of the River Kwai, offering peace and tranquility to the elephants in the mountains. Chai Chenna was a former logging elephant. His life was spent dragging huge cut trees with a harness of chains. Shortly after Chai Chenna arrived, I asked if I could play for him. The owner said it was impossible. He was far too dangerous. I suggested I just give it a try and see what happened. With extreme caution, they brought Chai Chenna to the piano, which was placed in the mountains away from people. He reached out with his trunk outstretched over the piano, sniffed around my face. This colossal creature was standing free and unrestrained, seemed to be listening and, from his reaction, liked the music. He was gentle with me. I played for Chaichna from time to time over the months, but the piano was just a small part of getting to know him. as much as he needs to in the way nature intended. I discovered the baby and very young elephants prefer fast music, ragtime or show songs. <laughs> Older elephants like slow, calm, expressive classical music. Elephants that have had stressful lives don't forget, and after a life of arduous forced labour don't see humans as friends, rather oppressors. I feel privileged to have the opportunity to play piano music, give a little comfort and interest to elephants that live in a world of darkness. Music is a universal language. It can play a part in rehabilitating or rekindling the spirit in elephants as it does with humans. Like, comment and subscribe.